sit stay with Stacy Slade. A lot of folks have asked a bit about how to stop their dog from pulling, teaching them leash control. So I'm going to attempt to do that today. I am on a road. You'll see a car pass me in a second. So I'm going to practice on the sidewalk over there. I'm giving myself a little bit of a runway so you can see what I do when a dog hits the end of the leash. Now all my dogs are leash trained um, in varying manners of uh, where they're at and also what uh, distractions are coming their way. Um, certain dogs have certain what I call triggers and I actually work, if I have a dog that I can't get over that trigger or it's just too much where they're just practicing bad behavior and I can't get them to come back to me mentally, I stop walking my dog in areas where those triggers are. I will drive to a place where I can get away from other dogs or people, uh, whatever that is, so I can walk my dog. Or I decide they get enough free run, running exercise in my backyard and I let them that, that be their exercise. So. Um, that's in an extreme case. Most of my dogs are fantastic walking out and about in a neighborhood. And uh, I'll show you one technique I work with a lot is when the dog hits the end of the leash, I stop. I stop dead in my tracks. The second they look at me or they push their head back to acknowledge that I'm there, I reward them. I say yes, which is my marker, and I say good dog, and we keep going. Ideally, I'd like them to come back to me but I will acknowledge the, uh, the look at me first and then we build from there. But basically I'm getting them to get a routine down is when they hit the end of the leash, they stop because I stop. So the idea is to get them to come back to me to recognize I want them in here. Um, I, you know, one of my dogs knows how to back up into heel, into heel position. I don't walk my dogs necessarily in heel position unless I feel like I need to have them so I didn't get pulled over because in heel position I have a center of gravity. I can keep them right here. That way if they pull, I've got them right here. If my dog is out here pulling and they start going, I'm going to go too because I don't have the center of gravity. I don't have the leverage on them to stop them when they're walking. Something else you also notice is I only use collars when I walk dogs. Harnesses are for pulling. I use harnesses in carding and draft events and for tracking when I want my dog to pull. There are a few harnesses that are not, are, are, are okay to walk in. I don't use them. I'm not an expert in them. Um, I don't like harnesses that impinge the shoulder movement and, uh, and could potentially cause long-term damage because you're altering their gait. Uh, I use a limited slip collar from Mezami. I'll show you, I'll, set, I'll put the link in the comments so you can take a look. It has a little bit of a correction, cannot choke the dog. Also, it's really important to me if used correctly, it cannot, the dog cannot slip out of this collar over its head. I do not use a buck, buckle collar because they will slip out, out over the head. So I've um, been doing this for 30 years. Uh, these are the equipment that I have found work the best time and time again. Um, so if some dogs I need a little bit different collar, a thicker collar, um, on my males especially, just because they're big. Uh, and uh, I've kind of hit or miss on what works for them. So uh, happy to answer any questions in the comments. There's a lot of ways to do this. This is what has worked for me. So uh, if it doesn't work for you, it, it, that's okay. I've tried many different things and some dogs I've done different things. So um, always use a flat leash. Don't use a retractable leash, the flexi leads. You have no control on that. Your dog doesn't understand that they hit the limit of the, the flexi lead. You can get in a lot of trouble with those flexi leads around other dogs, other people. Just leave them at home. They're not for teaching a dog control on a leash uh, and never put a puppy on one because they, good luck getting them leash trained if you do that. So that's kind of my, uh, my soapbox. Uh, 30 years of experience of training dogs and working with dogs. Uh, so. Here's what I do and uh, I'll bring a couple different dogs out and I'll explain what I'm doing in the comments because I'm going to be working the dogs across the street. I won't be able to narrate a bit about what I'm doing. So uh, hopefully I can get capture it all on in the comments and uh, good happy leash walking. Practice does take make it work well. Um, one side note on walking dogs before I sign off. Any puppies? Puppies need free play more than they need a, a focused walk on a leash. Puppies need to run around with other puppies and get their exercise out. But dogs aren't meant to just go on a three mile walk back. They can, 
but it takes time and puppies can't do that. It's like taking a toddler for a 20 mile hike and expecting them to do it. They can't. So um, small walks, don't expect miracles. I also, the other thing when I'm walking dogs is I'm, we're having fun. We, I have treats, 100% always have treats. Always, always have treats. I use jerky treats, they're dry. They're, I get them at Costco. Um, they're made in the US, they're dry, they stay, they, they're in my pocket. I don't use necessarily string cheese when I'm walking because it's harder for me to get it out. This one I can break these off in tiny little pieces to reward dogs in uh, from. So it makes it easier for me with those jerky treats and I have a whole pocket full of them. Uh, I never run out. Make sure that you never run out. If you start to run out, turn around and go home because you want to make sure you have treats to work through any challenging situations of dogs, people, animals, squirrels, deer, that type of thing. Um, and so you can work through that. The other thing too is I sometimes switch direction when I'm walking. So my dog doesn't quite know where we're going so they can't pull me. If my dog is pulling me and I'm coming off my feet, I stop. My dog doesn't need to practice that. Then I need to go back to leash work in the house and in the yard so they understand that the leash doesn't mean that they can pull me. I use leash for communication, not for control. And so if I'm having to have to control my dog on the leash, I rework it and I, I evaluate where I'm actually training my dog because it's too much, too much stimulation for him. So here we go.